In number theory, Euclid's lemma is a lemma that captures a fundamental property of prime numbers, namely, if a prime divides the product of two numbers, it must divide at least one of those numbers. It is also called Euclid's first theorem although that name more properly belongs to the side-angle-side condition for showing that triangles are congruent. For example, 133 a, 143 equals 19,019, and since 19,019 is divisible by 19, the lemma implies that one or both of 133 or 143 must be as well. In fact, 133 equals 19 a, 7. This property is the key in the proof of the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. It is used to define prime elements, a generalization of prime numbers to arbitrary commutative rings. The lemma is not true for composite numbers. For example, 4 does not divide 6 and 4 does not divide 10, yet 4 does divide their product, 60. Formulations, let p be a prime number, and assume p divides the product of two integers a and b then p a or p b. Equivalent statements are, if par currency a and par currency b, then par currency ab. If par currency a and p ab, then p b. Euclid's lemma can be generalized from prime numbers to any integers, if n ab, and n is relatively prime to a, then n b. This is a generalization because if n is prime either, n a or, n is relatively prime to a. In this second possibility, na currency is so nb. History, the lemma first appears as Proposition 30 in Book 7 of Euclid's Elements. It is included in practically every book that covers elementary number theory. The generalization of the lemma to integers appeared in Jean Prestitt's textbook Nouveau et la copyright mens de mathic copyright matics in 1681. In Carl Friedrich Gauss's treatise Disquisitions Arithmetici, the statement of the lemma is Euclid's Proposition 14, which he uses to prove the uniqueness of the decomposition product of prime factors of an integer, admitting the existence as obvious. From this existence and uniqueness he then deduces the generalization of prime numbers to integers. For this reason, the generalization of Euclid's lemma is sometimes referred to as Gauss's lemma, but some believe this usage to be incorrect due to confusion with Gauss's lemma on quadratic residues. Proof the usual proof involves another lemma called bar copyright Zart's identity. This states that if x and y are relatively prime integers there exist integers a and s such that let a and n be relatively prime, and assume that n ab. By bar copyright Zart's identity, there are a and s making. Multiply both sides by b. The first term on the left is divisible by n, and the second term is divisible by ab which by hypothesis is divisible by n. Therefore their sum, b, is also divisible by n. This is the generalization of Euclid's lemma mentioned above. See also, Euclidean algorithm. References